Hello, hello. I like snow. So today, let me get this camera right here. Okay, let me get logged in here. And then we can <clears throat> get going. Hi. Hi, Mom. Sean's out shopping. We're putting a fence up. Well, he's putting a fence up. I'm... Just watching. <laughs> so, morning, Naomi. Hi, Stephanie. I got your message, but I was in the thick of it. So, I didn't answer you yet. So, you sent your message to somebody else? Oh, that's funny. I did that before. I sent the wrong message to somebody else one time. <laughs> I don't do nothing. I just gut my book. I just pull all the pages out. Hi, Robin. And then I just put a muslin strip right here. Because it's all leather right here. This is all leather. It's still... And then I put my fabric over after I'm done when I sew my things in. So it's got two fabrics plus this leather. That's all I do. And it punches, sews through really good and everything. Yeah, I keep the spine on. I keep everything in. That's all I do is rip it out just like this. So easy. The book pops out. I just keep this in and doot doot. That's it. Video's over. <laughs> That's all I do. I just ripped out my book. Threw it over there. My last one. This was so perfect. These were perfect for a sheet of paper you fold in half. 1974. Encyclopedias, that's it. And I made, they were giving them away for free. And Sean, you know what I said, please get as many as you're willing to carry for me. Get as many as you'll take. So he got me like, I don't know, I had a whole stack. But I used them all up. This is my last one. So I'm starting a new journal, obviously. Video's over already. But that's okay for, um, yeah, Robin, mom's here. Yep, I sew signatures right in. After I, first I got to put my muslin strip in. And then I got to put my other, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use this stuff. It's real thick like upholstery. Like that. And then I just leave my string showing. But you can. I think you'd be okay. Because if you got this whole leather piece. Plus your strip of muslin. And you sew. In. Which I've done. And then you cover it with this. And glue this on. If you want to cover your strings. But I don't mind my strings showing. I don't know. You think? Do you think I need a... Uh, can't I just put muslin in here and leave it like this and then sew right in? That's it? You think that's good enough or do I have to sew into this too? I think it's good enough, personally. This is really thick stuff. Plus the, sh plus the muslin, I think I'll be good enough. And then I can cover it with this when I... Because I don't really want my string shown on this one, but I think it's good. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this one, I don't care. Because this one, I don't know about doing spine. I don't care about doing floating spine on this one. I haven't ever done one of those yet, but this one is for somebody who never seen a junk journal before, first of all. Okay. And then they went to my daughter's and they seen... The junk journal that I made for her. Only. Here's the issue with it. Her junk journal. She don't like it all shabby. And ripped up. And I'm doing it right. Okay good. And all this. You know Heather don't like it like that. So. 
the journal that the kids seen at her house was all clean one. A clean one, not much ink or nothing, you know, just blank. It was just a kit. Fold it in half, throw it in. That's all I did, you know. So, hi, Jolyn. So, anyways, I just feel like this kid don't know the difference, what I'm doing. So he don't know a floating spine for a nothing spine. So I just want to do my regular, my regular deal. And I'll show you guys what I got going on here. I made him four envelopes so far. I got four envelopes done. Book page, just some other crap, dictionary and music. I'm going to put some envelopes in because I was making them already. I got an order for envelopes. So I got, I made those. And then, uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it good. Okay. So, anyways, I had this weird looking... I think it's um some kind of weird paper. Look at it. You know, that homemade kind or whatever. It's real thick and something. And I put gold on one side. So, now I'm trying to just ink it up some. I need to put some age on it. So we're going to just sit and do this for a minute because i got to do it. But this is like dry ink or something. I always leave my inks open. Everybody yells at me. Then I say, they don't dry up, do they? They don't dry up. And here I am. <laughs> here I am having trouble. So I want to keep it gold, but I want to um, get it a little bit roughed up here because I want to put some age on it. So what I'm doing is that Buddha, it's a Buddha. You leave yours open too? Oh, okay, good. So he wants Buddha spiritual. And then I'm going to throw in a little travel because you got to have something else in there. I figure, I don't know. And I got nothing. And there's no kits still, even after... All this time, I've been telling anybody who will listen, you're going to do gold. I know I like this. That somebody needs to make a digital kit that's got Buddhas in it and Zen and all this. Because there ain't one out there. I found one. And it's the same one I used from the last years ago when I did one of these. There's one kit out there that you can use. And I'll show you guys. I got it. And it's the same kit that I used for my daughter a couple of years ago when I made hers for her. But there really should be, you know, and then there should be a few because sometimes it's men and they don't want all the frills. You know, sometimes we got to have more masculine stuff too, you know, at the same time we have all these frills everywhere. So I get to do a journal for a man. I'm just excited. Yep, I just did the gold, so I'm going to put some ink on here. I sewed all around already, though, so you guys don't have to watch that. And then I'll show you the pages I got here. I'll show you. I got... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's the... Well, not this one, because look, I got a big line through it. But... That's the cover image I'm looking for here. It's somewhere right here. You know how that happens. But it's around here. Oh, here it is. Okay, here it is. So here's the front. Here's the back. Right? So I'm going to cut it out, sew it around, ink it up and stuff, and then put it on top of this. So this will just be the background, see? I'm going to put it on here, on the front, on the back like this. And I'm going to cover the spine with this. Perfect. See? And then I'm going to have this. And this on this side. So that's what I'm going to do. And then this I'm going to, like I said, oh, sew an ink up around this. I want to cut this out though and see what this looks like really quick. Because it's not exactly the same color as this gold, so I don't know. Because I'll show you what I got. I don't know what you mean about how to do kid stuff. I mean, you just print them out and fold it in half and put it together. 
I'll show you what mine is. I'll show you this one. Don't you know that's what all the girls used? I'm shocked that you don't know what a kit is and how to do it. I don't get that. <laughs> don't you know that's what all these girls are using? You go Tsunami Rose, you know, that's what she does. She sells the kits. Don't you get it? And you go and you print it off. I'll show you. So I went and I got this one. And you print it out. It's got the journaling pages all done. Look. You fold it in half and you sew it in. See? It's easy. And then if it's all pretty and done up and what the do, you put lace on the side and you're done, you know. If you want a quickie. See, it's got all the pages. You just print it right out. Look. Half and half. All done. They do the work for you. You don't have to do nothing. Look, it's easy. So, the only problem is with this is it's all white and all this. See, this is the kit he's seen. This is the only one that I could find. So, there's a few pages in here I can use, you know, yada, yada, and here's the kit. But the deal of it is, is it's white. And that ain't happening. So, I don't know. I got this. Because... I got these, so I'm going to use this dark stuff because I got this. Look, I got all these, and they're double-sided. Look it. Look, I have to use this. Like, And it's for somebody who don't know the difference. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I only got, you know, so I think this is okay with this. Right? And then I got a couple... I got a couple, um, I went and printed out some other stuff from this site, but it ain't good. It's all stretched out images, and I don't know. Sometimes the images aren't good. And then I got this. These, it came with a couple, like, cool pockets and stuff. You know, so it's all the same color here, you know what I'm saying? So, it's got a couple cool pockets I can cut out, and then I got this I can cut out these for little things you know and there's some more little pages I can use this for the um inside covers I was thinking right so I don't know I think this is okay I'm just gonna whip it together and put it in and you know I don't know if he does journaling or not <laughs> He just seen Heather's, fell in love with it, and he's freaking out, and he just wants one, and I don't even know. I don't know the guy's name. I don't I don't talk to him, nothing. And I try to get Heather, you know, or somebody to help me and figure it out, but, you know, they're no help. I just messaged the guy who bought it for him, and he's like, oh, whatever. You know, they don't get what I'm doing, so you can't. I can't deal with people like that. So I got to just figure this out myself. <laughs> But look, it's not really the same color, is it? You think it's going to be okay? Because if I... And then I'm going to put this. So it'll have, like, some shag and stuff. Do you think that's okay like this? Once I get this inked up and stuff around? I don't know. Hi, Angie. I know I didn't link my shop today. I don't know why. Normally, I always do, and I didn't today. So, maybe one of the girls will. Maybe Kathy can or Stephanie can link it for you. Or my mom. Whichever one can get to it. So, what do you think this is? Hi. Hi, Kathy. I put you to work instantly as soon as you got here. Did you hear that? Go get my shop link for that lady. <laughs> Kathy! <laughs> oh, Stephanie's here. She can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know anyway. So, I'm going to sew around these and put these on top. You think that's good enough? And, I mean, I can put some little bits hanging out. I don't know. You think that's good enough? Thank you, Steffi. She got it for you, girl. Angie. Okay. So, you think this is good enough? I know these. I mean, and then I'll just, I don't know. I actually wasn't going to even put any bits underneath, but but it's not quite the right color, so I might do something. I really don't know, but this is what I was going to do. That's it. So, somebody, 
say. If I guess I should put some kind of bits underneath. I don't know. But that's all I was going to do. So that's what I'm doing. Got my book. Did the whole deal. So now I'm just inking these up and getting some kind of a different color on it. And then uh, we can glue it down. And we can glue them down and... Because it's just the edges here that show, you know. I'm trying. I'm trying to ink it. And then I was going to put, like, stuff behind it or something, you know. Unless I don't use that image, but that's what I was going to use. You know, because they use a lot of gold in India. They put gold on everything, you know. So I was going to do that and then I could, I don't know, put some bits behind it when I, I don't know what though, that's the thing. What the heck is that color? You know what I'm saying? This is hard. How am I supposed to, you know what I mean? How am I supposed to, is it getting better yet? No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> It's not getting any better <laughs> as far as color goes. I'm trying. I don't know what color to put on that stinking thing to make it better. So I'm just going to do it. You know, I don't know. I wonder if I should put this color on there. Is that better? I have this napkin, but a dark like this, I could try some. Or do you think that's ugly? I don't know. Where did I put that napkin? I have some of it. Where did I put that? I just had it too. Hmm. Let's see. Here it is. I have this. But it's not really the same color either, but it's goldish. And it's black. Is that a better color than this? Let me see on camera what it looks like. Is that a better color? I don't know if it is or not. But maybe the two of them. Oh, it's a Buddha one. Oh, it's for a guy. I don't know. I gotta hurry up and get this one done. <laughs> it's not better, Naomi. You're supposed to agree with me. <laughs> It's for this guy. No, it's not purple. It's gold and black. So I put some of that napkin on here to make one of my envelopes, you know. And I put some goop on it and stuff on it and gold and different stuff, you know. So now it looks cool. But I don't know. I'm going to do it anyways. I don't care if you guys don't like it. Because I don't know what else to do unless I, unless, the only thing I could do it or is just put muslin underneath. That's the only other option I got. Or I was just going to cover it with this whole thing, but it's the same color as this. So it's not going to be, I was going to use this because it's kind of orientalish a little bit, you know. But I know that's what I was thinking. Should I do black ink? That's what I was just thinking, too. I was thinking maybe I should do black ink, but I'm a little bit scared. I know. That's what I was thinking, too. But I'm a little scared. It's this only sheet of this I got. Okay. I'll flip it over and see what it looks like. Because this is plain still. This is what it originally was, this color. But look how what the black does. Ooh, it's really dark. It's cool, but that's gonna be glued down. You think it'll look good on this gold? I'm scared. I'm gonna do it, but I'll <laughs> think not black. Ah! I don't know. Let's just do it. It's okay. I'll just go real light. It'll just be darker. That's all. <laughs> I don't know what to do. 
I freaking hate doing this. I just want to do brown paper, Mom. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to ink the image for sure. I'm not done yet. I'm going to sew around it too. I just wanted to do brown paper and vintage photo. That I know, you know, I was going to. Yeah, I'm going to ink it and sew around and stuff. But maybe I should just do brown paper, huh? I mean, I don't know. We'll just try it. I think I want this to be darker. I'm trying to go light, light, but I think I want it darker. So let's just see. It's getting better. I kind of like it with darker. Oh, that is a little better with the dark. Because I'm going to sew and stuff and ink this. I think so, too. Because I am going to ink this. We'll ink this up. And I'm going to sew it. Let's get the edges black here, too. I got bits of my brush falling off everywhere. <laughs> Flying across the room. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, this is better, I think. I need to put some more black on here, though. So anyway, he just said Buddha and spiritual, and I said, well, I got to mix something in there. We got to have something else. So I said travel, and he said no at first, but I'm doing it anyways. Because he doesn't even know what he's talking about, you know what I mean? He doesn't know what I'm going to do or what it's going to look like or anything. You know what I mean? He doesn't get it because he doesn't never seen. That's better. But it could still be darker, huh? Let's do it. A little more. Okay, I got this weird thing going on with my ears. <laughs> you know, I wear headphones and stuff in the evenings to meditate and to listen to my meditations and all this. Well, sometimes I fall asleep. And then I got these earphones on my head, you know, on my ears. And I woke up last night, and oh, my ear, inside my ear, and the whole thing, everything hurts so freaking bad. That's what I thought, Naomi. That's what I said. This is going to be like a person who is seeking their spirituality, and they travel around the world to find it, you know, blah, blah. So that's what I'm doing. I'm like, I don't care if you're getting this. <laughs> so I'm just doing it like I want. But anyway, my dang ear. It's like, what the heck's going on? I don't know how the headphones can hurt your ear, but it might really hurt. Okay, I think that is better. I like it better. Good enough. All right, so let's get these suckers. Let's ink this one up, too. And then we'll glue these down on the book. And then I'll put the spine on. I got some neat stuff to put in here, but I don't know. Sometimes my problem is I'm lazy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's the constant inking. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I would really actually, I was thinking about my signatures for the next portion here. I would really like to rip all the pages. You know how I do. And have them all inked on the edge like I did my last one. I love the way that looks. I would like to do that on this one. But I'm too lazy I think. And look how beautiful these are. And they're dark on the edge already. I don't have to do nothing. But fold them in half. And the guy don't know nothing anyways. So what's the difference don't you think? And you know you know, don't you think? I think so, too. But I like to rip. You know how I do. But I do. I'm not going to this time. But but I like to. You know how I am. But I just did that one on the last one. And so I'm tired of it. Okay, now this is right at the end of my dang thing. So... 
I gotta dig it out and then I don't know if it's too gloppy. Let's just see. And then I use a rubber brush to do this. The rubber ones are really nice. It's silicone paint brush is what you put in if you want to look for one online, eBay, Amazon, whatever. And this is silicone brush too, which I like. Yeah, I just get tired of the inking and stuff. So sometimes I have to just give myself a few days break because I don't feel like inking anymore. <laughs> you know, I just get tired of it. But that's what I like when it's finished. I like the look of it, you know, so. So I just wait till I'm in the mood again before I start on another thing, you know. <coughs> so. Okay, so you just put a nice even coat there. her down. Ooh. This is fun. You know, I went to cut this paper on my Tim Holtz paper cutter. I got a Tim Holtz. You know what the big thing? It didn't cut this paper. It ripped it up. Wouldn't cut through this. So all that paper cutter is good is for one sheet of just regular Thin little paper. It's not good for any of this mulberry, I think this is. Doesn't like any of that textured stuff, that's for sure. I thought that blade was really like, you know, sharp, but it's not. There, this looks cool. I love it already. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Then the inside is brown, so when I cover it up with the muslin and just put the other one in, you know, which one am I going to use for these? I think it was this one. I think it was this one. I'm going to put this and this on the inside. It's brown. I'll ink it up, whatever. Right? Easy, easy. No problem, oh man. Look. Haha. <laughs> Look at this. Nice. I keep ordering stuff online. Some stuff comes in a reasonable amount of time and some stuff doesn't. I'm out of my matte Mod Podge. I'm out of matte medium. I'm out of my glitter kiss sparkly stuff that I always use for my flower stenciling and then so I keep ordering this crap I ordered Sierra some dishes for the boys some plastic dish set for the kids it never came I ordered my mom birthday stuff never got it I know yeah, and I don't know this kid either. This guy I'm making it for, he's in a different state. They're kids, you know, 20-something, late 20s. They're not 30 yet, you know. They're big dummies and stuff still. <laughs> big dummies and stuff. <laughs> no, that age is fun. I love talking to my daughter and her friends, and they call me and whatever, you know, when they're out shopping or whatever they're doing or camping or whatever. She's got lots of different friends, but it's kind of fun when she calls me with their girlfriends or with their boyfriends or whatever, you know. They called me the other night and they were all drinking and stuff, you know. And they called me. <laughs> and they had music on. And I'm like, what are you guys doing calling your mom? And you're out partying or whatever. She's like, we're not partying. We're just, they were barbecuing and Having a couple drinks, and they've seen my books. You know, Heather's got 
a baby book I made for her and Layla and she's got her Buddha book and she's got just stuff around the house that I make and send to her, you know. So people always say, oh, where'd you get that? That's cool. And she says, oh, my mom made it. And then they say, oh, where'd you get that? That's neat. And she'll say, oh, my mom made it. And they'll say, gee, your mom's cool. Let's call her. <laughs> so they end up calling me and saying, can you make me one of these? Will you make me one of those? So that's what happened. I say, yeah, yeah. Only this kitty actually paid me some money for this. So that's really cute. I was like, okay. So I got to do good for him because he paid me some money. Usually then they're that age. They don't have any money and, you know, the whole story and all that. And I'll make them, you know, stuff or something, you know, but. But he actually had some money. Everybody's got money right now with all these stimulus checks and whatever. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's cute. Well, it helps me out because it takes a long time to make one of these books. And if I take two weeks off just being nice to one of Heather's friends. That's a whole, you know, two weeks, that's a lot of time for me to take off just to be nice to somebody, you know, and I, it's my business, so it's tough. It's hard to do, you know, sometimes because people say, or your friends or your family or whatever want. It's like, dang, you got to take all that time off. <laughs> all that time off to do it, you know. So, it's different. It just depends how you're in it. If you're in it just for fun and, you know, whatever, and you can just mess around, that's cool. But when you do it for your income, it's different, you know. But I do it for both, you know, I guess. There. I love it. I love it. Okay, then I do the, I put a piece of muslin down here. But I just wonder if I should put my pictures on first or if I should put them on after. Let me cut these out and see how big they are. Again. For this side. I just want to see. See, this is my problem with me. is I don't know technology that good. So I went and ordered this kit. This one. And... This is supposed to be a full-size journal. And look how little the pages is. It printed out sideways on the page the wrong way. Printed out this way. You get what I'm saying? Look. That's not how it's supposed to print. It's supposed to print full page on this. You get it? And I don't know how to fix this. What's this? I, what am I supposed to do with this? It's too small. It ain't even TN size. You know. And this is the kind of crap I got to go through. And people. <laughs> That's why I don't do much design team projects. I'm on Tsunami Rose. But I can't ever get anything to friggin' work. This ain't right. It's supposed to be this way. Yeah, I know. But it's not full size. So what am I supposed to do with this? You know. That's why you got to watch out when you order stuff online, you guys. And then I ordered this one. Another one. A whole kit. It said junk journal kit, whatever. Or collage pages. And I got one page. Okay, well, you know, so you got to really read. And then this one I ordered. And I mean, these are okay. These pockets are cool. My printer was wigging out here. I was running out of ink. But all these, they stretch the images. And look, they are stretched looking. And I don't like the way that looks when they're stretched like that. I know what they're doing. And they're not, uh, it's not professional. They're just taking this little image and stretching it. And it don't look right. So I don't like it. These are okay. But I don't know. It's just not the greatest. You can really tell the difference. You know, these are supposed to be 
full page, you know, what am I gonna do with this little crap? So and I'm just gonna cut it up and put it inside envelopes or whatever, you know. I don't know what to do with it, but I'm gonna do Well, I don't know. I guess I could try it, but hi Linda. I always have all these problems. Every time I go to print something out, you know, I have all these issues. It's like, uh, that's why I never use kits and stuff because I can never figure it out. So, see if I do it, then this will go on top. Otherwise, if I, I guess it's okay. Either way, it'll go like this. I know, but this is supposed to be full size. It's not supposed to be short like this. So, you know, makes me mad. Well, I can go try it, but now I'm going to use these because I printed them out. So I'm just inking around and putting some stuff behind it and figuring it out, you know, to make it look intentional. But it wasn't. It was supposed to be full size, so it covered up the whole thing. But it don't. Portrait to landscape. I can try it. I did that with these. Yeah, but see, look. I did that with these. And watch what happened. I'm going to show you. I have all kinds of problems with this printing. <laughs> this is why I don't do it. Because I did that with these. And look what happens. Portrait to landscape. But look what happens. Now I got this. And this cut off. Now I got this white edge. See? What's that? You get what I'm saying? It's always something. That ain't supposed to be there. What's this? Now what? I put this in and now I got this. Oh. Okay, well, I'll cut it off. Well, stupid, I'm just saying. It's supposed to be full pages, you know. <sighs> Linda, look at, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just printing, you know, fit to page. I know, Naomi. Man, I just stink at this, you guys. See, I just don't know how to do all this. You can tell me all this. Okay, change the margin. Totally. This is why I don't do it. I just stick to my crap and I don't go. <laughs> I just don't know how to do all this stuff. And I just end up getting frustrated and I have to sit at the table for so long doing all this junk on the computer. I can't ever. Unclick fit to page. Oh. I was going to say, because I've tried that before, but I didn't want to sound like a raving lunatic. But I have. <laughs> Done fit to page. That's what I did. Look at what. Look what I did. I'm not kidding. I did fit to page with the tags. <laughs> Look what happened. <laughs> Look, the tops got cut off of this one and the bottoms are cut off of this one. I tried every way, <laughs> Naomi. Look. Now I'm going to have jacked up tags on every one. <laughs> I tried every setting. <laughs> I just don't know how, so I get mad. Uh, I can never friggin' get it to just print out like it's supposed to. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just get so tired of trying to work that dang printer. <laughs> oh, does it depend on the kit? Yeah. I do better than some, but I'm not really. I mean... It's hard for me, too. I don't get it, you know, a lot of times. So, I'm just trying my best. A lot of them get on there and don't have any troubles. And they just do it, whatever. But I'm not that. I got all these issues with it. I just can't get it, you know. But I'll tell you what. I've learned a lot. And I've been learning either. Because I went, well... I went to college, like, when I was 30-something. I didn't know how to do any of that stuff. Do the computer and all this and write papers and all stuff. So, I've been learning the computer, you know, but it takes a long time. But, anyway, so I'm just going to put this on and deal with it. <laughs> 
Adapt and overcome. That's what I always say. I feel like a Marine. Because I'm just trying to deal with this. <laughs> you know. Yeah, the Wonder Women know how to do it. Well, they've been doing it for years. Once I've been doing it for years, I'm sure I'll know all the tricks. But right now, I was just talking to somebody. I can't remember. Somebody was messaging me and I said, well, I think it was Jane. <laughs> I said, just because I have a big mouth, it doesn't mean I know anything. Because <laughs> they come to me and ask. It's like, I don't know sometimes. I've only been doing it a couple years. Five years, something. That's it. I haven't even, you know, tried lots of stuff yet. So, <laughs> okay, wait now. This has got to go. I forgot. I'm talking too much. I got to put a little more. It's got to go up and over a little bit. I just didn't want to get too much. I just want some to overlap here a little bit. So, after being in this yard... Okay, now I got to tell you a personal story. We bought this house on the river. It's really cute and all this. But it needed a lot of work and next door was an abandoned building. And here, uh, squatters have rights. And, um, you can just move in a building. You don't have to do nothing. She turned the electricity on. Pretended like she owned the place. This chick. Heroin. Uh, and meth addicts, you know. And they just moved right in. Acted like they owned the place and everything. These people are crazy. I thought I moved to, I don't know where the Twilight Zone. I was going through something at the time. Because I was like, what? <laughs> so, anyways... At first, I didn't quite know what to do when I moved here, you know, because I just didn't know what to do. So, me, I just feed people. So, I ended up on the street corner with my crockpots feeding all these drug addicts. <laughs> and then the neighbors were there, too, and I was giving them blankets, and I was letting them take showers and all this crap. And then I realized, okay, I can't do that because it just doesn't work out like this. So, <laughs> my poor husband's carrying crockpots out the street corner. Oh, my God, Sean. What he goes through for me, I swear. Anyways, so there's this abandoned building next door, and I have all these troubles, and these people are, you know, you can imagine. And then her dad's across the street. It wasn't the greatest neighborhood, but I really didn't, you know, it's tough when you have to buy a house here in Seattle. You, you gotta really watch out. But anyways, thankfully they're all gone now, and it's a beautiful neighborhood. But you get that one bad house. You know, the one house. Otherwise, we got a beautiful neighborhood. So anyways, so finally I was writing letters to the bank and I was petitioning. I was getting the neighborhood watch and blah, blah, blah and all this going on so I could get these dang people out here, try to figure out, get this place cleaned up, whatever. I was taking over the yard. I put my garden in the front trying to get rid of these people, you know, because if they can have it, well, it's free rain. I can have it too. So anyways, it was such a mess. Anyways, after a couple years of writing letters, the bank finally... Did something and somebody bought it and they ripped the trailer out of there. They put a new one in. We got the best neighbors now. A beautiful lawn. It's just manicured and pretty. <gasps> I love it. So, but the only thing they didn't do is the fence. And they kept saying they're going to do the fence. They're going to do the fence. Well, it's been, you know, four years and I'm tired of it. I need a fence because I got dogs. And I'm trying to put in my garden right now. It's using my cute little white picket garden fence. Uh, so I'm trying to. Trying to get my fence done so I can finally put in a garden after all this time. Like, I'm over it already. <laughs> so, so, somebody gave us some fence. You know, on those sites, you know, buy nothing or whatever. You know, the sites, your local town sites, you know. So, somebody gave us some fence. So, I was like, sweet, we got the fence. Well, let's put it up. Well, I didn't realize the fence poles... And the caps and the concrete and all stuff. Shonda went and spent $500. I didn't even realize. So I'm a little bit... <sighs> you know. <laughs> so he's out there trying to do the fence. And in Washington, we live right by the river. It's all like silt. 
when you dig down, there's nothing. So now we got to go back and buy bags of concrete. He's got to go back and concrete every single fence post. Oh, my God. Thankfully, we only have one side of the yard to go through. That's all we got to do is all the way, you know, just one side. So it's only 100 feet. But for one little guy by himself who's never owned a home or put a fence up before, my husband, he's such an innocent person, you know. Uh, you know, he's having a conundrum <laughs> happening, you know, because, well, we went, he goes to Home Depot to look around and the line, the, and they're taking people's temperatures. So you have to wait to get your temperature taken and this interview with the people asking you if you have any symptoms, blah, blah, blah. So it was a long wait to get in. So he said, well, I'm just going to go to Lowe's. So he went to Lowe's. And what Lowe's is doing, you can get in the door. It's just, it takes a long time to check out because they're washing everything in between every customer. Can you believe that? So, anyway, takes the time to go to the store these days. But he did it. And so, you know, but, you know, you're not used to that. So, it's, you know, major. And so, he, <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, my God. And, you know, all that. So, anyway, so he finally got the stuff home. But he came home and he said, I had to spend $400, ah, you know. <laughs> so, I don't know. Anyway, so I just want to glue this down. That's it. I don't even know if I want to put any things behind here because I got to put, what am I going to do for the closure? I just thought, oh boy. I should have put the closure ties underneath here, mother. I get to talking and I'm not thinking. Now look. Now if I put it under here, you're going to get bumps in the picture. Shoot. You guys, you make me talk too much. See, put your strings underneath before you do anything, because now I can't. See, now I can't. So now I got to use something. So if you're not talking too much, you can put your strings underneath. Then you layer all your stuff on top. But I screwed up, so that's that. Okay, I'm going to sew. around that yep I gotta put some kind of tie in on the inside I never did it like that I always just put a hole then or something and put my ties through the hole you know rivets yep that's what I normally do so I think I'm just gonna put it on like this because I was thinking, uh, if I just leave this like this, should I put, you think I should put glossy accents over this and let it sit overnight and be all shiny? Do you think that would be something? Would that look good? I mean, it's for a guide. I mean, it would be cool because it would at least be somewhat protected, right? But to do a whole glossy accent, you guys ever done that? It's kind of hard because it gets bubbles and then it's wavy and, you know, whatever. But I was just looking at this. You think I should do glossy accents on this and let it sit overnight? Otherwise, it's just paper, paper. And I ain't putting... I know it might streak. That's what I'm scared of. But you got to get it thick enough. You got to do a couple coats. I know I'm scared. All right, I won't. What could I do, though? Just leave it, huh? Because I'm not putting nothing behind, either. I'm not doing it, like, shaggy. What kind of sealant? All I got is Mod Podge. That's the only sealer I got. What do you got? What kind? I don't use sealers ever, you know. For much of anything but for this one for some reason i feel like i want one i don't know why oh this is my problems right now my machine came undone so so now i gotta stop and thread it it's acting weird i don't know why
I gotta stop and thread my machine now. Clear gesso. I got clear gesso. But that doesn't make it shiny, but I guess. It's all rough, but I could use it. I just feel like I need something. I guess. But I do got clear. I tried to order some matte medium, but I can't seem to get anything to come in the mail. I can't get my needle threaded, you know. <laughs> Trying to do a video and sew this really quick and, you know. Then I can't see. And I guess I need glasses now, finally. So, you know. You think you're the only one who goes to all these troubles, Mother, but you're not. I got the same crap as you. Only you're worse because you're older. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it to go this time. Oh, yeah. I don't even have a sewing table. My sewing machine's on a TV stand. So my legs don't even go underneath. It's very uncomfortable to sew like this. <clears throat> but I got some readers finally at Walmart. Finally. <laughs> I did too. I use them when I'm reading, but I never thought to bring them in here. I don't know. I just haven't. So, let me try this. I got one more to sew. It started out pretty today, but then it started raining, so Sean went shopping. Then the craft stores join fabrics. I forget, I forget where my friend went now. I can't remember. She went to go get fabric. I think it was Joanne, but I can't remember. They wouldn't let them in the door. They're only letting in like 20 people at a time. And you got to go up there, give them your phone number. And then when it's your turn, they'll text you and let you come in the building. So, you know, I ain't going through all that. <laughs> okay. There, so how's this? Then I'm going to put this here. <laughs> Not very thrilling. But that's what I was going to do. <sighs> what do I do? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? I could leave this a pocket, but then I I need to put that stud in there, so I can't. I just don't know what to put. Yeah, it's kind of gold or orange or something. Yeah, I know, but the camera's weird too, so. But this is all like gold it has an olive green kind of tone to it but i don't know well should i just do plain muslin then but that ain't nothing either it's another color does it look better with plain muslin than that stuff i kind of like the other stuff better because it's big and thick and this isn't very dark. So I was going to put this on. 
But I keep thinking I should put something underneath here, you know, our usual cheese glob, this and that and the other thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got stuff. It's not like I don't have stuff. Yeah, the image is kind of orange. It's so, it's, all of them are orange. I know, they look orange. I know, whatever. Let's look. I know it's weird, but the pages are kind of orange too. I don't know. Unless I don't even use this. I can find a completely different... Completely different images for the front if I want to. Because this I like the way this looks. I just don't necessarily like the images, you know. I could just let it sit for a while. You know how sometimes you let it sit overnight? and You know, because I have this stuff. It's not really cheesecloth. It's, you know, something thicker. But after all that, I don't like it. See, I don't like it. I almost like it better without the images. <laughs> without the images. Uh, I love how this looks. I don't know. I kind of like how this looks. Because this envelope kind of matches it too. It's kind of gold and like... Could I just put a pocket on the front and put some like stuff in it? I like the way this looks. Unless I find a different image. Maybe I'll find a different image. Because this looks good. I like it. You know? I kind of... I don't know. I had my heart set on this, but I don't know. It doesn't exactly look right, does it? I just like the way this looks. So, I'll have to look maybe tonight... Look around in my stuff and see if I can find... I know I like the envelope, too. It's kind of a neat one. I could try to make it, like, manly. <laughs> but it's neat. It's got, like, texture and stuff on there. You know? Yeah, I could put... Oh, that's a good idea. I could put the gold glaze on. Yeah, I do have gold glaze. But I, it ain't gonna help the images any. It's orange, you know? So, shoot. This is why this one's so hard for me. But, maybe I'll just go look. Yeah, I'll put some gold on here and see. Let's see, what kind of gold? I don't know, because this ain't really gold. It's like olive green. What kind of gold? I mean, I got gold dew drops or I got gold glaze or gold, you know. I don't know what kind. I got this, but it's not the same color. Look, it's not the right color. It's just not. Let's see. Yeah, the envelope has gold in it. I do got gold dew drops, so let's just see. You know, we'll figure it out as we go along here. But but I'm almost thinking I almost just want to pocket on the cover and put my envelopes in here. I made them four, like, cool envelopes for guys. Just dictionary page, book page, and then another book page. And then I did a sheet music one, too. Because I hadn't decided what I want to do yet, but... I like how all that looks. This was this. It looks good with that, eh? So maybe it'll look good on the picture. We'll try it. It's the same orange. I mean, I know it'll look good, so... We'll try it, but... But, I don't know. I'm scared, of course, because I just put all that black on. Now, if I put gold on, it's going to be different. And this, I used a stencil. So. When you get these brand new... You want your brush to be wet. Sponge, I mean. 
wet it and then dip it in and then swirl it just like bare minerals. That's how I do it. Just making my thread gold. I'm putting it over the whole thing. Now that I got it out. Didn't really do much. You can see it shimmer and shine now though, but it didn't really like, I mean, it does shine and stuff now. That did help a little, didn't it? That did help a little, didn't it? Cause now it kind of has a sheen at least. So that did help. Well, that makes me happy now cause I wasn't liking it at first. But that helped. I like that better now. Okay, that helped. I'll do it on the other one too. This one. Helped a little bit. I just don't know if I should put junk underneath and behind it. I just don't feel like I want to, but... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to glue anything. I think I'm going to spend some time looking in my books tonight before I glue anything down and see if I can find any different images. Just to see. I don't have much Buddha stuff, but I think that did help some. Yeah, I think it did help. Look, because now it's got at least something. Something. That's better. Okay. We'll see if I come up with anything different for my cover. I was going to try to do it tonight, but I'm not. I think I'm done for the day. I've been sitting here all day, and it's 2.30. So I think I'm over it for now. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming in to see me, you guys. I really appreciate the company. Yeah, it took some of the orange off. Kind of looks good now. I like it. Otherwise, I had this other idea, but I don't know what I want to do. Now I got this. So, I have this. I have a book that this fits perfectly on. It's a, it's a um, hardcover. But, and it fits. Let me see if I got it right here. I'm going to show you. You didn't leave yet. This is what I was going to do. I was going to do this look. But I decided it's too much work for the money that I got paid. But it's a cigar box. Look. And the book fits right inside. And this fits right on it. Look. Look it. It's the perfect fit. <laughs> See? And it's even the same color. Look it. But here's my issue with this whole thing. You know, because I could even put, you know, this on here somehow. Or something, you know. This is too this way. But anyways, what I was thinking was, here's my problem. This is the perfect fit, yes. But, if I use this and put this in here, then I have to fix the box. And, or, then all my pages are too big. So, I have to cut then every single page and custom it to this. And this is why I decided not to use this. Because then I have to do every single page. Or this, I can just fold it in half because it's double-sided. Look. Fold it in half, stick it in, and I'm done. Otherwise, this is lots of messing around. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> you know what I mean? I wish I knew what this guy... Because look how perfect size that is. Look. Isn't that just perfect? I know. I can't even stand it. And then this... Actually, would be good with 
with this kit, really, you know? I almost feel like do it too, because I don't know what to do. I don't know what kind the guy wants. Because this would be good. I could just fold it in half and stick it in. And it would look good just like this. <laughs> now I know, you know. So, I don't know what to do. I guess I could do both and let him pick and just sell the other one. But I don't even know if it would sell. You know what I'm saying? Because this could go in there and this could go in there. I just don't know. But, for whatever reason... I just like this little size and I like this color, but I'd have to rip every page because it's all too big. See, it'd be perfect. And then it would fit right in this little box. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> but then I'd have to figure out something unless you think just leaving it in here is okay. But I feel like I'd want to put some kind of Buddha or something cool on the front, a mandala or something. And then on the inside, it's, you know, cigars. You know? Psh. So, I can't decide. I wish I could talk to the guy. Maybe I should talk to the guy and see. Because I just don't know what to do. <laughs> I got two options here. Right? <sighs> Oh, oh, what to do, what to do. I really don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll just use this one and use the kit, throw it in. I don't know, God. Anyways, we'll see what I end up doing, you guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I appreciate it. A thumbs up really helps a lot. A link to the group is there if you want to come over. And we'll see y'all later.